mean, as you say, it's a long journey. We get back home at four o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, so a few tired limbs uh, yesterday. But it says that win on Tuesday was, was, was fantastic. I thought we played really well as a team. And uh, we managed to get the three points, which was a fantastic achievement against the Wimbledon side, who are very good and they're very difficult to play against at home. So knew it was a test of character and we've come through that, so the, I'm seeing the mentality side of the, the players changing. How did that win feel? Because there's been so much effort and so much hard work going in, but you've just not had the results. So to, to hear that final whistle and get those three points, how did that feel? Yeah, also it was good. I was delighted for the players for the effort they put in. No, just after the game on Tuesday, but I think the games we have played over the last three, four weeks, we, we, we've managed only to take one point. When we, we could have managed to uh, probably four, five, six points in them games. So the performances were getting better. And as I say, the effort and the team shape and the desire the other night was fantastic to see. And I think we thoroughly deserved the three points. Even more satisfying because it was one of those where you had to battle it out as well. Yeah, of course. You, you lose Jim O'Brien after 29 minutes and you have to move on to a corner and a centre back who I thought was playing really well where he was. And I thought he was fantastic. And uh, every player that came on, Jack came on, Jack Payne scored the penalty, and, and it's probably the best game that I've seen Jack playing. And then also David Ball came on towards the end, and he gave that wee bit of quality. So I thought we could have won a game a wee bit more comfortable. And as you say, 1 0, you're always susceptible to, to concede a late goal. So as you say, I was delighted when the final whistle went, but for the efforts and, and the fans that travelled down on Tuesday night. And you've spoken about luck before and not, and not having it in the, in the previous game. You had that penalty decision go against you, against Bristol Rovers. It sort of worked for you, didn't it, on, on Tuesday night? That was that strange decision that where Wimbledon probably should have had a penalty but didn't get anything. No. Or, or free kick outside the box, I should say. Yeah, it was a strange decision all in. Because it wasn't a free kick. <laughs> I don't see what the referee's seen. And then when he blew for the, getting a free kick, I thought he's given a penalty and he gives a free kick. And it was just strange. I think some of the decisions he made were bizarre. I think he bought it for a corner. He didn't know what to do, and he, he sent one of your players off saying he had a, a, a bit of blood coming through his nose. So it was it was strange decisions like the other night, but they say we got one, we get a penalty, which is probably the softest one that we've, we've had. But they say it's, it's fantastic that we, we managed to hang on. The players at half time asked for a big effort, and I got it, and that was the main thing. As I said, a few younger players grew, grew into men on Tuesday night. And it sets it up nicely, doesn't it? Sunderland at home, going into that on the back of a win rather than um, more drop points. Yeah, I just think uh, we're, we're probably playing the, the, the best team in the, the league, squad-wise. Uh, they've got a massive squad, they've got a massive falling. It's a, it's a home game, I think. It's going to be a fantastic atmosphere. And as I say, hopefully all the Bradford fans come out and support us because the players are going to need it on Saturday. I think uh, that, that's the main focus for us. We, we need to make sure that the fans know that we are we are really down to a uh, limited squad now with losing Jim and they can play a massive part in, in Saturday and helping us hopefully go and push on and try and get a win against probably the, the favourites to win the league. Yeah, how do you expect the atmosphere to be different going into this on, on the back of a win where obviously previously you've gone into home games where results haven't gone your way? Yeah, I think wins always change things. Uh, I think over the last month I've, I've been here, I think people are starting to see the team getting fitter, stronger, organised. And uh, sometimes, maybe at home, the first half against Bristol Rovers, some of the younger players are a wee bit uh, overawed with starting in a game. I think the second half going into the game, and I, th I think that's when the fans got behind us. And I hope the fans get behind us from the first whistle to the last whistle because they could play a massive part in helping us go over the line and get, take some of the game in Saturday, which would be a fantastic achievement for the players. Yeah, and when Valley Parade is rocking, it's, it's a great place to be, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a great place, and as you say, it's, Results will judge that, but I think Saturday we'll need the fans even more. I think Sunderland fans are going to be 3,000 of them. They'll be making plenty of noise, and hopefully Bradford fans can out sing them and make sure that they get behind the team and, and pushes on because I think the players deserve it more than I do. They just need to that extra wee push to make sure that the extra 10 15 per cent to, to push us on. And hopefully, we can take some from the game. What about Sunderland? They're a massive team, obviously. It's stuttering there of late. Yeah, I don't know about starting. I think. Uh, They've got a lot of players to choose from. They've got players coming back from injury now. Uh, they've got a massive squad of players, so they, they could probably make four or five changes to a team and still be as strong as they were. So, squad-wise, they're, they're, they're very good. And as I say, they're very good at attacking. And it says that the last couple of games have had draws, but it's something we, we need to work on. We're working on it today and we're working on it tomorrow to see how we can try and expose them because they know they've got very good players middle to front who can hurt you. And, and that's the biggest thing that they're going to have. So we need, we need to make sure we're mentally ready and the players 
who are playing all know their roles within the team to, to try and make it as difficult as we can for them. And you mentioned the fans. A win for them would be would be a big reward, wouldn't it? Because they've not, not had it easy this season. No, but I think they've been great since I've come in. Uh, they've been very vocal backing. I think they've seen what they're trying to do. I says we've, we've took a point against Bristol Rovers with the Everton game where we won in penalties and then obviously winning on Tuesday night so we're starting to hopefully build a wee bit of momentum but every time we seem to build a bit of momentum something else happens so they, 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 they need to get behind us and if they get behind us on Saturday I'm sure you, you see players responding in a positive manner Brilliant, thank you Dave, do you think a performance similar to Tuesday night will be good enough to get a point or three points out of Saturday or will the team have to step up a, a notch or two? Yeah, I think it's going to be a completely different game from what we played on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday was more about character and crosses and set plays. I think Saturday's going to be about more technical players getting close to people. There'll be a lot of 1v1 individual battles. So I think it's going to be a tough, tough ask. They've got good players, they've got players they can bring on once other people are tired. So it's 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 going to be a mental mental challenge for the players, but a different mental challenge from the game we played against Wimbledon on, on Tuesday. You said Sunderland are the best or one of the best teams in the league, so do you feel any expectation on yourselves to get anything out of the game or almost a freebie game? No, no I don't take any games a freebie. I get every game to try and win it. So we'll be trying to try and get three points on Saturday, I says, and that, that's the main focus I've always had. I think performances against Blackpool and Charlton and Doncaster have been very good. We've not picked any points up. And I'd say the, the Bristol Rovers game and the... Wimbledon game, I asked for clean sheets, I've got both of them, and it gives you a platform that it just shows you we, we kept a clean sheet, Jack scores a penalty, and I said we had two or three breakaways, which I thought we could have scored more goals on Tuesday, but as it says, keep a clean sheet, you win 1-0, I'd be happy with that every week. Um, obviously, with Wimbledon on Tuesday is a long journey back, how much time have you actually had to prepare for something and get what you want to do against some across the players? Yeah, it's, it's difficult, we didn't get home at 4 o'clock in the morning, and Wednesday so we're off we couldn't take, ask the players to come back in again Wednesday uh, we've been in today and it, it's mostly a, a session where you just try to get players that did play get their legs going and uh, try and get them to recover as, as best we can I've, I've always stated that when you play three games in a week your medical staff are so important to me now 